Nier, thanks for joining us on Celtic TV. Can you sum up your thoughts after the 90 minutes that have just gone before? Oh, to be honest, no. Uh, one of the best days in my life. Um, you know, we were looking for for this game a long time and, uh, you know, we are very happy. Personally for you, you had to be very disciplined. You'd picked up a card early in the game and it was a very professional performance from yourself and your teammates um, thereafter. Yeah, you know, uh, the yellow card, I needed to take it for the team. Uh, the guy just ran for counter-attack and it was too early and I couldn't let him go too, uh, too easy to the back four and I took it for the team, but then, I, like you said, I was disciplined and I tried to, to, to watch myself and I'm happy that I did it. And a special mention for the fans this afternoon, it must have been quite an incredible atmosphere to play in. Um, yeah, you know, before I came here, before three years, I heard, about, I heard a lot about uh, the fans, the Celtic fans. Um, you know, I can't describe it. It's one of the best atmosphere I played in, and you know, it's just I'm I'm proud to be part of this club. I'm sure you'll not be the only one that's uh, lost for words this afternoon after that performance. But once again, congratulations, Neil. Thank you very much. Thank you, Patrick. 5-1, um, perhaps even more than you could have hoped for this afternoon. Yeah, it wasn't bad, was it? Uh, yeah, I think we started very strong, obviously, the gaffer before. He got us very prepared and we went out there very confident, as we should be. Uh, that was a great performance. And I have to say, uh, your timing and introduction into the match did, did seem to make quite a significant uh, difference in really seeing it out and putting it to bed. Oh, yeah, I mean, the game was, obviously, it was uh, getting away from them at the time and... Uh, yeah, my fresh legs came on. Uh, it wasn't as good as I was supposed to be, but that happens. I'm just coming back from injury, so it uh, should be sharp in the next few weeks. Though. I think you've been overly modest there. Looking forward to uh, the trip to Barcelona midweek. Yeah, that should be uh, interesting. So now we look forward to that. We're getting trained tomorrow and we'll get cracking for that. Yeah, it was good. Really good. Uh, atmosphere was special and uh, yeah, I'm not going to forget today for a long time. And it seemed as if I mean, the fans were, were driving us on from the beginning, but there were periods of the game where, where we had to dig in and, and keep our shape. looked as if we did that very well, and then you really came into your own in the second half of that first half. Yeah, I think um, you know, we started off um, maybe a little bit slow, but we got into the game, and I think the way we play as a team and our structure, um, you know, we proved today that we're a better team, and um, you know, it's just exciting for the fans. It was special, and um, as I said, we just enjoy it now and move on. We've got big games coming up. And I know that there's a significant time difference, but will there be a few parties back home? Yeah, that's it. I know a lot of family and friends watching, so um, you know they'll be happy and hopefully they'll enjoy it too. Carl and Mika, thanks for joining us on Celtic TV. A lot of build-up to the game. What was all the fuss? Uh, nah, it was a good game for us. Obviously, we, we went out there and performed really well. As you see, great result. Five goals and no better way to do it, really. And you come on and, and had a calm and influence later on the game, and it would be fair to say that everybody played their part this afternoon. Yeah, 100%. Great team effort. Um, the boys that come on, obviously, Stu comes on and scores as well. So excellent for all the boys to be involved in, in a great victory again. And Michael, I worked for the boys at the back, very well organised throughout the game. Yeah, I think so. Of course, uh, they got the one goal just before half time. Uh, and maybe they got one more chance in the whole game. So, so that's uh, a decent performance. Kieran, how did you enjoy that 5 1 victory this afternoon? Yeah, it was brilliant. Um, obviously, last time we played, it didn't turn out as good, but today was just. It's the best shown so far. And since that last game, obviously, this is your first experience of uh, Celtic against Rangers here at Celtic Park. You're a massive Celtic fan. How, how easy was it to distance yourself from that for the 90 minutes? Yeah, it was obviously hard. The, the atmosphere was brilliant. Um, just been in the crowd so many times, I know what it's like, but today was, it was brilliant for me. Fair to say there'll be a big party in the Tierney House tonight? Uh, yeah, I think so. Um, all the family were there, uh, like that every week, so they'll be, they'll be proud of this bunch for me. Yeah, I thought we were clearly the dominant team in the game. I thought our our intensity in the game was very, very good. Uh, clinical we were in crucial moments of the game. So, um, so no, absolutely delighted with the result and the performance. Brilliant, brilliant result. Delighted for the supporters because it's a derby game is all about giving the supporters a good feeling and and they'll hopefully feel proud of that. And have you um, have you experienced an atmosphere quite like that before? No, it is a unique derby. I've been involved in, in a number of them, but today it was it was incredible. And uh, 
and it felt really good, obviously being a supporter as well. And uh, you really don't get time to catch your breath. It's now off to the Camp Nou in Barcelona for the Champions League. Are you confident that after a, a nice evening, everyone will be ready to go again in the morning? Well, I, no, there's no doubt. The energy that the players get from that is incredible. You know, it's, uh, it's a big performance, big result. And uh, like you say, this is why we're here. You know, the football club, we want to be on the, the up, playing in big games. There's not too many come bigger than Barcelona in the now camp. It's a wow, perfect hat trick, head, right foot, left foot. How are you feeling? Yeah, I feel, I feel good, I feel happy. And, and you know, we got the, the three points, I score a hat trick and, and I give an assist. And you know, it's like a perfect, perfect afternoon for us. And, and you know, to, to score a hat trick in your first, first off from Derby and, and obviously my first professional hat trick as well. So, so yeah, everything is it's like a dream. And how did you enjoy sharing that uh, hat trick moment with the fans? Yeah, it's, you know the fans since since I come here, you know they always been been good to me and, and good to all of us. You know I was expecting that for them and and you know when I score, I'm just happy for for myself and for them as well because they all they have always been behind me and and yeah I can just thank them thank them every day I'm on the, I'm on the field and, and I score. Will you keep a hold of that match ball? You thoroughly deserve it. Congratulations, Mister. Thank you. Thank you.